I'm going to show you how to put your clarinet together. So first of all, you need your case and you need a flat surface like a table or the floor, which you need to put your case flat on. It's really important that the thick bit of the case goes at the bottom, like so. And then you open up your case. The first thing that you should do is you should get out your cork grease and you need to grease the corks on your clarinet. So you just take out each section and put a little bit of grease on your corks and then rub it in. It's important to do this, depending on your clarinet, about twice a week. This means that it's um, nice and easy to put your different parts of the clarinet together and it also keeps the clarinet um, from letting air escape so it keeps it nice and sealed. And then just the mouthpiece to go. Okay, so after you have done that you need the bell of your clarinet and you need the bottom joint of your clarinet. The bottom joint is the longest part of the clarinet and it's the one that has the thumb rest at the back. So all you need to do is just twist those two together, like so. All right, so after you've done that, you then need to pick up your top joint. So the top joint is the one that's got the cork at the top and at the bottom. So it needs to be this way up. And in order to put these two together, you have to click these keys here. By clicking these keys, it lifts up this little lever right here, which means it can slot very nicely onto this lever. So again, you just twist and push it down until those levers are nice and lined up and the holes at the front are nice and lined up. It's really important when you put those two together that you only twist it very slightly from side to side because what you don't want to happen is you want to twist it all the way around and then the metal keys on the side to get caught with each other because that can damage the clarinet. So you just need to make sure that you are twisting it very slightly to make sure there's no clashes and you are pressing these keys down. After you have done that, you need your barrel and you need to put your barrel the correct way up. So the correct way up for the barrel is to have the biggest bit at the bottom and the smallest bit at the top and you just shimmy that bit on. So the last bit you need is the mouthpiece. So you take off the uh, mouthpiece cap and you don't need the ligature yet, so that can come off as well. And you slot it on the top like so. You then need to line it up. And in order to line it up, you can twist the barrel so that the hole in the mouthpiece lines up directly with the two keys at the back of the clarinet and then with the thumb rest as well. You then put your ligature on. So again, you want the thickest bit at the bottom. You just slot it over the top and you do righty-tighty to tighten it up and lefty-loosey to loosen it. So the last thing that's remaining to be put on the clarinet is the reed and I've made a separate video to show you how to do that because it can get a little bit difficult so you can find that video in the description below. The last thing you need to know is that you do not under any circumstance leave your clarinet just standing up like this because it can really easily be knocked down, fall over and damage will be caused. This one is on a clarinet stand so it can go that way up. So if you do need to put your clarinet down and you don't have a clarinet stand, you can just place it in your case like this. Or if you think it's sticking out too much, 
you can take the top and the bottom joint apart, remembering to put your finger on the key work to lift up the lever and to slot it on your case, like that. If your reed is on the mouthpiece at this point, you would want to put your mouthpiece cap over the top, like so. And that is how you put your clarinet together.